All right, we are good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, make sure that it's showing up on Facebook. I'm not. Yeah, and we'll let some people kind of trickle in. There we go. There you are. Um, oh. Cool. Sweet. So we're going to kind of let some people trickle in. And like I said, we don't have anybody after this. Um, so, you know, if we go a little long, no big deal. Um, All right. So um, what's going on, everybody? We are we are back again for the um, last artist of the day. Uh, we've had quite the lineup today. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Um, Ashley is the sixteenth artist of the day, um, and we've got another similar lineup tomorrow. So definitely excited for tomorrow. But, um, anyways, uh, thank you for joining us. Um, for anybody who doesn't know, Ashley was actually on one of the breaks not too long ago, just a few weeks ago. Um, I think you were on, it might have been a Women of Star Wars or it might have been a Masterwork uh, yeah. case. Hmm? I think it was Masterwork. Okay, yeah. I th yeah, I, I think that's what it was. Um, and uh, that was a lot of fun. And uh, for anybody who doesn't remember, um, she wasn't doing any personal sketch cards yet at the time she's always well we'll let you get into the comics and stuff and kind of tell some of your backstory but um currently there's a long wait list so uh get your name on there as soon as you can so that you're not waiting three years to get your card because that's how long the list is um so anyways um go ahead and uh tell us a little bit about yourself where you're from how long you've been drawn and what was your first uh star wars set that you did so, uh, originally, I am from a very, very small town in Kentucky, like, very small. Um, I have been doing art since I can remember. Uh, I did all the high school art classes, and after high school, I did a chemical engineering job for 10 years until I finally took the plunge and decided to go full-time as an artist, and uh, Empire Strikes Back Black and White was my first set. The top. Speaking of Empire Strikes Back Black and White, I forgot to grab the other one. So I'm going to have to take a quick uh, break as I go grab something else um, when we get a little bit further into this. So, um, so yeah, so I guess Empire Black and White, that wasn't too long ago. Um, I think that was, what, about a year and a half ago or so maybe? I think I turned the cards in in November of 2018. Okay. So, yeah, I'm still a rookie. For sure. <laughs> well, how many uh, how many other sets have you worked on since since you started? Um, actually, I wrote it down because I knew you were gonna ask. Um, okay, so I've done Empire Strikes Back, the Masterwork 2019, uh, Skywalker Skywalker Saga, uh, Rise of Skywalker Series One and Two, uh, Return of the Jedi Black and White, uh, the women's set, and then I will be on the Holocron set. Okay. That's cool. just for Star Wars. So. Right, right. So what else have you done besides Star Wars? Um, I've done Mystery Science Theater 3000 and um, what was the other one? Ultraman for RR Parks. I did um, two sets for Upper Deck. I've done Aliens 3 and uh, Chase and Amy, which probably will never be released. <laughs> and then um, I've done a little bit of work for Dynamite, but not a whole lot with them. And then I, I was also on a Viceroy had a artist choice set, and so I got to do some cards for them, which is really fun. Okay, cool. Yeah, I don't know how many of uh, how many of the people in the group expand beyond Star Wars, um, but I know that a lot of people, you know, certainly enjoy other other um, you know arenas. I guess would maybe be a way I could put it. Um, so. Let's talk about from your first set. I, again, it wasn't that long ago, but Black and White Empire to now. Um, how has your artwork 
progressed or changed or differed from when you started to to today? Uh, gosh, if you somebody, I think Blaze posted a photo of two of my cards he had from Empire Strikes Back earlier, and the difference is just crazy. I think uh, when I first started, I didn't know what art cards were, and I was kind of like thrown into it. So I looked at everybody's work and I went out and I bought like the Copic markers that everybody talks about. <laughs> like I just totally bombed that first set. Um, it took me a few sets to really figure out what I wanted to do and like how I should express myself on like such a small scale. Because I went from doing like huge, like three, four foot canvases, to these tiny cards. And it was really difficult for me at first. But like I think now I've kind of settled into a style that really fits me and people are responding really well to it. So I will continue to do that as long as people are liking it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I, I mean, there's, there's no, I mean, if anybody logged onto the page one time this week, I, I think they would see that your stuff is, uh, is crazy good and, and everybody's been all over it. Um, but you, you don't really come like we were talking about just a little bit ago, you weren't doing personal sketch cards a month ago. Um, you come from a larger, uh, canvas background, I, I think comics, correct? You want to talk about that a little bit? Uh, yeah, well, I started doing canvases and then, um, the comic book store, the owners, I'm really good friends with them back in Kentucky Heroes Realm. And they were kind of like, have you ever thought about doing comic covers? And I'm, I wasn't sure if you could paint them because I usually just work in acrylics mostly. So I got one, tested it, and then people started snatching those up. And then um, I was actually at a con selling those. And um, James Michael Hammond, he did a few sets for Star Wars. And he does, like, Garbage Patch or Garbage Pail Kids and all those. But he was set up next to me. And so that's how I met him. And he was like, oh, you know, you should think about doing tops as well. So that's what kind of snowballed me into this and uh yeah it's just kind of <laughs> taken off it I had no idea what I was getting into but I absolutely love it wouldn't do anything else now yeah that's uh that's really cool um that you're able to do something that you enjoy and that you're passionate about and I think it's very obvious like when we're looking at the cards you know that you're posting and putting out into the into the sets um, that, you know, you can, you can tell that you enjoy it and, and, um, you can, it's very, uh, it's reflected very easily and very well in the cards that you do. Um, William John is saying, um, your stuff's amazing. Can't wait for, uh, when his name finally comes up on the list. Um, as I'm sure most people would say, George said he just got on the wait list yesterday. Um, now I know you've got the Holocron stuff coming up soon, correct? Um, they should be getting here uh, Monday. And so I've got, so I know like a lot of people have seen the uh, Women of Star Wars set and I did the color shift backgrounds. I, I really want to start pushing and seeing how far I can get with tops on doing like odd stuff like that. So I have something really, really cool planned for the Holocron set. I'm not going to say yet, but like I, I'm hoping it works out and I, I think it'll be something different that you all haven't seen yet with cards. So, I mean, I'm really excited for this set. Yeah, I uh, I'm I'm really excited too. Um, I uh, I don't know much about it, but uh, I know if it's anything you know anything that you're doing these days and more, it's it's only going to be better. Kai said that he just got his Ahsoka in today, and his mind was blown. Or at least that's what I'm assuming that emoji is. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, I know I've got a couple things I want to show. Do you have some stuff that you want to show us real quick? Um, I've only got three things I can show right now. All right, but I'm going to be quick because I'm going to step away while you show everybody that. Okay, I'm not singing like Laura did while you step away. So <laughs> I'll just show cards. <laughs> um, the first is the uh, Vader. Let me take it out. See. Might be able to see it better. Um, Hoping that's showing up okay on everybody. And this is the one that they're going to be doing um, the giveaway for. Um, next is I just finished up this commission this morning. Play Leia. Hoping that looks okay on your end. 
And then I've got, this one is one of three on my next set of commissions started. It'll be a Leia, Luke, and Han card. Ooh. I'm back. I'm just catching, just catching uh, these. What was the first one again? Oh, uh, the one that gave away. Oh, cards. yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll come back to that. I'll have you show that again at the end. Um, uh, and then, I don't know. You probably saw this one on my Facebook. The Leia Commission. And then I started, I posted a picture earlier, but I've got a little bit more mm -hmm. progress. Yeah, that's awesome. Brian was saying he he opened your L3 um, color shift from the Women of Star Wars. It's an amazing card. Videos do it no justice to how those came out. Um, look at all the little tiny bounty hunters. Excited. <laughs> love it. Wow. Um, so I actually, what's funny is I have more cards to show off than you do. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I'm actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take them out so that you can see them a little bit better. It's it's tough because I'm inside with this terrible artificial lighting. Um, so my camera is certainly not going to do it justice as well. Plus my my camera on my computer is worse than the one on the f uh, phone. But I just switched myself over. So you said Black and White Empire was your first uh, first set that you did. I have talked about this one many times. Um, this was the first... Uh, card that I pulled from that set um, uh, and I was so 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 excited to get it because Vader is my favorite character um, I knew the uh, the autos were were kind of <laughs> kind of bums um, so I was excited to get this one and uh, it was a Vader filled box because I got a, a red out of 10 parallel uh, of a Vader card as well but this was definitely the highlight um, and I'm pretty sure I reached out to you after I pulled it um, because uh, you make you make your signature very easy to read, um, which is nice. And yeah, uh, <laughs> so, can you tell us a little bit? Uh, uh, you know, what was um, what did you do this one with? Because I remember it wasn't just like a, I was expecting like a pencil, and it definitely wasn't. No, um, it is acrylic, and then I will water down my acrylic to where it's almost like the consistency of a watercolor. And so that's what I kind of did for the back. It's like a watercolor acrylic wash. I'm sorry, I got my cart going crazy over here. <laughs> and then the Vader is all done in acrylic. And I don't remember if I used gel pen, a white gel pen on that or not. I can't tell. Oh, no. Yeah, I uh, I honestly have no idea. But I just remember feeling the texture on it. And, and I could tell it was painted. And um, I thought that was really, really cool um, to go with that. Uh, let's do this one. This one was the, what Brian was just talking about. Um, uh, I'm just trying to keep up on comments. Um, Kevin, Kevin Draper saying he loves all the sketches he has of yours. Uh, you are the bomb. Um, so this is the women of Star Wars. I actually just got this one, I think yesterday or something. It's going to be a little bit difficult to see, but, um, tell us a little bit about what you did with, with this set. So I knew I wanted to start doing something different and I kind of like dabbled in the metallics and stuff with the uh, masterwork and a few other sets. But with that one, like I found this, this paint and it shifts and I'm like, that would be, it doesn't look like great in scans, but you know, in person, like that's something new i've not seen it yet so i just wanted to see if they would let that fly and they did and everybody's really liked it so like i, I really want to continue doing stuff like that and i don't it to me it just adds something special and you know we only get so many reference photos we can use and anything that we can do to make it different and new and exciting for you guys i think we should go for that yeah so this is uh the ursa ren that you did and i'm still on the hunt for um I mean, probably both of the Sabines, uh, if I can, if I can find them. One, one in particular, uh, was the first card that caught my eye on Sketchfest. Um, so hopefully somebody in the group pulls it so that I can work a deal and don't have to uh, hunt it down somewhere else. But uh, we'll see. So those, yeah, those are really cool. Um, I know a lot of them have already been pulled. Uh, I'm not going to pull all these out because I'm realizing I'm spending a lot of time doing that. But this was the... Um, actually, no, that looks terrible because it's reflecting off the light. 
Um, this was the AP that I got from you from the Women of Star Wars. Um, and it is from Rogue One. So what did you use on, on this one? So that is, um, I do base coats in acrylic, and then I will go in with uh, colored pencils or watercolor markers, whichever works best at the time, and kind of layer it up. And these APs were actually the first set that I actually, you know, started doing the larger character at the top and then the scenes at the bottom, and that's where I've kind of developed this current style that I'm working in. So I was really happy with those. Yeah, I uh, I love this one, and the th thing that I'm noticing now that I'm holding it up is here's 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 the that first set you did, and here's the one of the most recent ones. You're getting you're getting lazy on us with the signature. That was just for the APs on the the pack inserts. I did sign all of them. <laughs> Everybody makes fun of that because they're like it looks the same, and I'm like, yeah. Like when I write normally, it's a mixture of print and cursive anyway, so. Yeah, yeah, I mean, there's no doubt that, that it's yours, um, so that's nice. Uh, all right, then the last one is actually really, really special, because um, I alluded to it earlier. We had um, we had Ashley on one of the breaks not too long ago, and that was just a couple weeks ago, and she wasn't doing any of these, these personal sketch cards, um, and I was really, really fortunate that when she got them in, she ran it by me to see what it looked like, and I said, I need it. Don't don't let anyone else get it. Oh I got, this was her your very first uh, personal sketch card, and I saw a picture of it, and I said, I have to have it, um, you know, post it so everyone can see it, but tell them it's already sold, because I, I, I was like, I'm not letting anyone get a chance to get that before I do. Um, so, anyways, that one's uh, that one's really exciting. This is this is what the back looks like. Um, so let me let me catch up on the comments. Jot Jot saying it's funny. He literally oh he's just watching something else. Um, he's wondering does Ashley have an estimate to when she thinks she'll be through the current commission list? Asking for a friend. <laughs> oh gosh! Like when I say that I will put you all on my list, like I literally keep a list on my desk. So like I have everybody wrote down and like. So I can do it in order. Um, there's a there's a lot of people on that. But I uh, talked to Jot Jot. He snatched up the Yoda card that I did the other night. So I, I kind of know what he's wanting next. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, well, I know, you, I know you're working really, really hard on those. You've, you've flown through those so much faster than I would have expected. Um, you know, I, I, but I also know that you've got the Holocron set coming up. So anybody who's on the list or wanting to get on the list, um, you know, she's, she's doing a great job. She's working way faster than I think anybody would expect. Um, but she's going to have those coming up and she's definitely got to get those done. So certainly be patient. Um, it'll be well worth the wait. Um, so yeah, yeah, Allison, I am, I am very lucky that I was able to get that. Um, so I'm actually going to share my screen now, um, so that people can see, I want to show your booth. Um, since you don't have that much there in person, because everybody's snatching it up. Um, <clears throat> yeah, all the cards that I had painted for my booth, they all sold before I could even list them. So, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> yeah, hey, there's uh, that's, that's that's certainly a good thing. Um, so, all right, it's just taking a second to pull this up. Um, you're going to be on a little bit of a delay if you're watching it on your computer. Uh, but there's the Ahsoka card that I was lucky enough to get. Um, there's another Ahsoka uh, and, and a Hera. I think you said that was your first time drawing Hera too, correct? Um, there's the Yoda that uh, that she was just talking about that's going to be making its way over to Germany soon. And this Luke, I think you just finished that one the other day, right? Yes. Uh, I think, yeah, I did Luke that morning and then I did Yoda that night. So that was all in one day for those. Um, looks like we've got a Kylo and a Spider-Man. Um, these look like they're a little bit larger. Um, can you tell us a little bit about what these are? Is the Spider-Man, is the Predator in that photo too? Uh, the Predator I think was, yeah, 
Yeah. Okay, those are the okay. Now I see it on one. Um, yeah, those are the uh, canvas paintings that I do. So like the Kylo was like a three foot. No, it was four feet wide. The Kylo Ren was. So those are like the large canvases that I started doing. So <laughs> you can tell like I had to shrink it down for the sketch cards. But um, yeah, I, occasionally like after I do a few sets or like so many cards, I'll do a large canvas like that just to kind of stretch and you know have an extra space to work with and then kind of like resets me and I get more motivated to go back down to the cards yeah yeah um let's see I, I pulled up some of your comics up here it looks like um and you were you were doing these like right before you started doing some cards right yes so yeah that's how I was making a living before I took the plunge into cards and even that like going from canvases i'm glad i went that step in between uh canvases and cards because like shrinking it down to comics was difficult for me as well so i kind of like had a you know the in between to kind of get used to that and then scaling it down to cards it made it a little bit easier um and i know you and i were just talking about this there's right now i just pulled up the uh the pets the pet portraits. Um, you want to tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so usually uh, around Christmas time I get like hit like usually every year with a pet portrait request. And I love doing it. It's something different. Like I love pop culture stuff and, you know, Star Wars and comics. But like I also love painting animals. I love doing fur. I could paint fur like all day it's my favorite thing that's why every time i get a chance to do like ewoks on it set, i always try to do as many of those as i can but yeah i mean i love doing pet portraits so if anybody needs any of those i would gladly do it yeah the the one of the little dog uh looks identical to the actual picture of the dog it's crazy um uh, we're we're getting some comments coming in. Um, Preston Zach said he he didn't know you drew sketch cards as well, and uh, said you're a crazy good artist. Um, Cyrus said that you you blow his mind with the stuff that you do. Jot Jot said that the uh, the Yoda you did is it's a very high chance that it's going to be one of his favorite cards. Um, uh, mind blowing. Love the fat cover. I mean, yeah, I I don't think anybody has has enough good words to say um you know about the artwork that you're you're doing so um yeah i guess uh, you know from from your standpoint i'm sure everybody's sick of hearing my voice um you know what is what is something i know you can't talk or you don't want to talk too much about what you got coming up but what is something that you're looking forward to uh you know next in terms of like expanding your horizons and stuff um well as far as sets like for tops like i just I always look forward to the next set because each set like i said you can go back and look at my first ones into where i'm at now like it's crazy the difference so like i always look forward to the next set and like pushing myself to that next level and getting better each time and then uh kind of pushing the boundaries with like mediums and mixing in what i can to make it interesting uh as far as career wise <laughs> I have no idea. I'm just enjoying where I'm at right now. I'm just kind of on the ride and we'll see where it goes from here. Yeah. So where, um, I, I don't think I've ever asked you this. Where did the idea come from to do the, the large character up top and then the small scene below? I don't know. I think it just, we do the same reference photos over and over. And I think I just, really wanted to do something different for me and like just you know how small can I paint those little people at the bottom and you know how much can I actually fit into one card to make it feel like you all are getting more for your money and um so I just kind of expanded on that and then I, I like the collage work and that I, I kind of like I just want to keep evolving my like a year from now I don't want my cars to still look the same like I want to keep trying to find something different and new to do and I think that's just where it all keeps coming from. Well, I was going to say, you might have a, a year-long list of, of these to do. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know. I know we've got some other artists who do some, some similar things with a large uh, large character in the background, and, and I think a lot of them do like the same character, but smaller in the front or a different complementary character. Um, these ones are the scenes, which are really cool, and 
Um, they, uh, I mean, they just they match perfectly. So, um, a couple of your the people who bought some of your recent uh, PSCs are are showing up. Uh, Michael Brown said that the hair on the crew looks amazing in person. Um, and uh, yeah, so. Um, well, I think, um, I, I know we're getting close to the end here. Uh, you, you still have that Vader handy? Um, yes, I do. Okay, so yeah, if you can hold that nice and close. Um, actually, if, if you can slide it a little bit to your right too, I, I'm kind of in the way. There we go. Okay, so, um... This is actually going to be one of the one of the uh, items that's given away on Monday. Um, actually, before yeah, so okay, there we go. Yeah, there's not as much of a glare. So this one, I'm I am so jealous that somebody else is going to get this because um, I just said, hey, you know, do something, do something original trilogy, whatever comes to mind, and that's what came to mind, and I was like. Oh man, do I tell her to do something else and keep that for myself? But you guys are all gonna have an opportunity to win that. Um, go to the uh, go to the event page, check out Ashley's booth, check out all the artists' booths. Um, that's what it's dedicated towards. Uh, scroll all the way to the bottom, make sure you're able to see everybody. Um, if you buy anything, a print, a commission, original artwork, um, you know, a, a voice recording from Dave Gaskin. You know, but you buy anything, you're going to be eligible to win this and many and many other prizes. Uh, the f uh, you just you buy one thing, you get one entry. You buy two things, you get two. It doesn't matter who it's from. Um, you're going to have an opportunity to win that. I'm sure your hands get tired, so you can go ahead and pull that down. But um, <laughs> so, anyways, um, definitely go check out Ashley's stuff. She doesn't really have a lot available at the moment. If you want to try to get on that list and don't mind waiting, um, you know, I certainly encourage you to do so. It's well worth the wait. Um, Brian actually had a question. Um, he said, when, when it comes to commissions, do you prefer to have a degree of freedom or have the whole sketch kind of planned out by the person requesting it? Um, I think it depends. Um, like if I'm doing like a large canvas, like I like a little bit of freedom. But for sketches, I think the collectors are so passionate about their um cards and stuff like I, I really like having a precise direction to go in and knowing exactly what they want and it's so like with my commissions um like usually I will before I even start painting the card like I've got a rough pencil sketch and I'll send it to them like are you completely happy with this before we start just to make sure because I want to make sure I mean if you're spending your money on it like I want you to get exactly what you want and be 100% happy with it <laughs> yeah absolutely so um you know i'd encourage you to go back and I know, I know you were trying to keep up on the comments but go back and check out the video and and see some of the comments that were coming through i mean it's it's uh, a lot of uh, a lot of really cool things um aaron winton says he's on the list three times um but yeah guys i i appreciate you guys checking out all these videos all day um ashley for for coming on and giving us your time um you know, go go check out her booth. Go check out all the artists' booth. If if you buy something, you know that's fantastic. If you're not able to, you know that's certainly understandable. Just you know, drop drop a compliment. You know, and uh, you do you do too many. Facebook's gonna block you. They blocked me yesterday, <laughs> um, but uh, you know you'll be back like an hour later. So um, you know, go go drop some encouraging words. Go drop a few dollars, and uh, you know we'll we'll be back again tomorrow with another star-studded lineup. Um, tomorrow I'll kind of run through real quick starting pretty early in the morning we got Adam Wharton uh, Rutvig, uh, Barry Renshaw Carolyn Craggs, Jonathan Beisline Alex Mines, Logan Monette um, the mastermind behind all this, Angel Avilas uh, Kevin Cleveland, Madison Emmerich Patrick Davis and then we're going to have Arnie uh, Golat on as a collector which is going to be a cool little piece um, we've got a panel coming up tomorrow uh, tomorrow morning and then also another workshop uh, which was a lot of fun today so I don't know if you had a chance to see that Ashley um, I think um, uh, I saw most of them today I was watching when I could I've got three kids running around so <laughs> <laughs> yeah the, uh, the workshops were a ton of fun so hopefully we have another uh, another good turnout for that one tomorrow um, <laughs> before we hang up Laura's asking uh, is that your natural hair color 
girl, no, this, this is a five dollar box of color from Walmart. Like, <laughs> it's, it's getting gray. I'm old. <laughs> no. I uh, wish. <laughs> she's uh, she was she was pretty excited. So, um, Preston said he wants to add one of your uh, your sketch cards to his Star Wars up and coming collection. Um, Preston, definitely definitely reach out. What's the, I mean, what's the best way to reach out to you? Um, Facebook. I uh, I was talking to you about it earlier. My phone has been like nonstop for the last few days. So like, if I've not responded to your comments or your messages, like I'm working through and I'm trying. If I don't within the next few days, like send me another message or tag me just so I I really try not to miss anybody. But it's just a lot going on right now. So I'm making my best effort. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a good thing. So. Um... You know, hey, I, I would say probably the tags are kind of hard to keep up with. I'd say send her a personal message. If she doesn't uh, get a chance to respond to you, you know, uh, she she certainly will. And like I said, it's it's well worth the wait. So, um, again, guys, thanks for thanks for coming out today. I think today was a was a success. It was a ton of fun. Um, and uh, tomorrow tomorrow can only get better. So. Uh, thanks again for joining us, Ashley. Is there anything else you wanted to say to the people before we hang up? Um, I just really appreciate all the love I've got over the last week. Um, it's been really nice because, like I said, I consider myself a rookie. So um, it's just it's been really, really nice. And thank you for pushing me into the personal sketch card direction because I would have not – I'm stubborn. I would have not done that on my own. <laughs> and um, thanks for everybody that's been supporting all the artists this weekend. Like, it – you all don't see our little group chats and stuff, but like it, it really means a lot to all of us. You know, I mean, we bust our butts for tops and like a lot of times we can't even get replies back, like emails and stuff. But I mean, it really means a lot when you all show your appreciation. So thank you, everybody. Yeah, well, hey, I think I think the the entire world is happy that you did some some uh, personal <laughs> sketch cards. So uh, again. We'll, uh, you know, guys, make your way over to the group. Um, go buy something. You know, if you can't, say something nice to one of the artists or all the artists. And, uh, you know, get your chance to, to win some of these awesome cards, including that Vader. Um, and, uh, yeah, I don't know. Have a good night, everybody. I will see you all in the morning. Bye.